What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And Charles Oliveira is now calling for the Islam Makachev rematch. And this is, of course, super interesting because, well, Charles lost his last fight to Armin Sarukian, who is actually supposed to be in line for the Islam fight. But if you don't know, Armin got suspended for punching a fan at UFC 300, and he faces about a year away from the sport unless he makes some sort of anti-bullying PSA that'll shorten the suspension to only eight months. And as we know, Islam Makachev usually loves fighting at that UFC Abu Dhabi card, that pay-per-view that goes on every year in October. And he obviously needs opponent for it. And if you take a look at the lightweight division, there aren't really a bunch of options. I mean, the Armin was the clear-cut answer, and if he's ruled out, there aren't many other guys left. Gaethje's coming off of that loss against Max, that brutal knockout. I don't think he wants to get back in there, and it also wouldn't make too much sense. Chandler, obviously, he's waiting for the McGregor fight. He'll wait till he's about 90 years old for that one, so he will not be fighting either. Dustin, of course, just lost, and then that really only leaves you with Charles Oliveira. And I know technically that that fight wouldn't make sense because Charles lost his last fight and he's being gifted a title shot for losing. But obviously we've seen this happen before. I mean, it's about to happen with Israel Adesanya and Drikas Duplessis. So why can't we make it happen for Charles? I mean, yes, of course, their first fight wasn't as competitive as everyone thought it was going to be. But I think there's a lot of things that went into that fight. Charles didn't seem to have a good weight cut either. So I think that this time around, if he comes in a little better pre prepared we could have a good fight on our hand. And let's face it, at the end of the day, Charles Oliveira is still one of the biggest stars in the UFC. He makes a crap ton of money. He's getting pay-per-view points right now. So I think it makes sense to have him fight Islam. Islam's obviously also a big star. And if you need him to fight on that Abu Dhabi card, Charles seems like the perfect opponent. Now, I don't know how interested Islam is in the Charles fight, considering he's offered Charles a chance to train with him in Dagestan and improve his wrestling, which would be great for Charles, by the way, and he should definitely do that. But if they're fighting, obviously that's not going to happen. I don't think Islam really wants this Charles fight, and not because he's scared, of course, he's already beat him, so he wouldn't have to worry about that, but because he wants fresh blood, he wants a new opponent, and at the end of the day, Charles is still a really dangerous guy. Like, yes, Islam dismantled him quickly in their first fight, but Charles is still such a dangerous opponent between his striking and his jujitsu. He is really a big problem for a lot of guys in the division, and Justin Gaethje's even been quoted saying that Charles hits harder than anyone he's fought, and that guy's fought in pretty much everybody. So you could see why Islam wouldn't want to be fighting Charles next. I think the fight Islam really wants is the Leon Edwards fight at welterweight to try and become a double champ and try and become one of the best fights of the year. I mean, a fight between Leon and Islam would be a massive fight. It'd be kind of a pound for pound number one type thing, and I think it would be a great fight. But timelines are not going to line up for that. Leon's fighting in July against Bilal. He's not going to turn around and fight Islam in like two, three months. That's just not going to happen at all. It, Leon barely fights once every five months, let alone two. So I don't see that happening. I think that it's... And if we really do need Islam to fight on this Abu Dhabi card, it has to be against Charles Oliveira. Now, how do I necessarily see the rematch playing out? I don't know. I mean, I love Charles. He's probably my favorite fighter, but beating Islam is going to be really tough, man. Like, Mogachev has improved so much more even since their first fight. I think Islam's striking has gotten so much better, and it's probably on par with Charles's right now. So I think the stand-up would be a lot closer, and obviously we know what would happen in the grappling. So... I don't know. I don't love this fight for Charles. I think Charles at this point, he's become a champ already. He's accomplished his dreams. He should be going to chase money fights. He is probably either one of, or if not the most exciting fighter in the UFC, and he could have any big fight that he wants. He should be chasing those, trying to make as much money as possible, and avoiding fights like this that are going to hurt your legacy and hurt your chances at getting more bigger fights in the future. But if this fight were to happen, I would love for it to happen. I mean, Charles versus Islam, the buildup in that first fight was so awesome. There was so much anticipation. Everybody was wondering who was going to win. And we got our answer and it was kind of anticlimactic. So I hope this time if they fight again that it'll be a little bit longer. We'll see Charles do a little bit more damage to Islam and have overall a more close and competitive fight. That's what I think about this matchup. Let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments. Do you think that Islam versus Charles should happen again? Would you prefer to see another matchup? Or do you think Charles actually has a chance in this one? Let me know down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you all for watching this video. And check out more just like this one if you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.